Okie dokie, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. I had to wait a little bit to do my intro because it got cut off last time and I have a cute intro. So, last time we were just doing confidant quests and such. We finally got to meet the adorable red-headed girl. I'm so excited to get her thing started. But, today is special because we can finally call the teacher slash maid. And as gross as it is, and that being a teacher, it's even grosser than when I first played this game, she is actually the best confidant in this game. Because, so if you can get her, you want to get her as fast as possible. Because when you get her up, up, you can do things in class. You can read books in class. You can make tools in class. So that gives you more time. Also, when you get her really far up, she'll come and give you a massage after you've infiltrated a palace. I know it's gross, it's because it's your teacher, but just get over it, okay? Um, and that's me, a teacher, saying to get over it, okay? So just bear with it. So she can give you a massage, which will allow you to go out at night, therefore allowing you to spend time with more people and up your skills more. Um, she also does laundry for you. She can cook for you. So she can, like, I have, the reason why I haven't gone to the laundry mat is because I know that she can do these things for me. So I'm holding on to those until, and that means that you don't waste your time doing them. You have her do them. Um, and also, like, she can make the curry and the coffee for the SP items. So she is phenomenal. So if you can get it as Aww. soon as possible. Hi. This is Becky. Oh, it's you. Well, it'll be 5,000 yen with the request be included, you know. Is that okay with you? I'm rich, baby. <laughs> I've got so much money. I am a rich, and I still haven't sold my treasure. Mm. She is expensive. You have to pay every time, okay? So don't, and so make sure that you're getting that treasure and selling it, but it's well worth it. Okay. なるほど。そっか。君全力の剣でがっこにいい場所がないのは辛いでしょ。でも成績が下がったら考え直すから。その代わり私のこのお仕事のことは誰にも言わないようにこれ取引だからね。じゃあ取引成立ね。She'll let me sign up off in class. That's the great teacher right there. Gakoni Kayo in Angara, a redakin of Hansa Yonasieta than I did. Kimi Dake de Tachimareta to a Omoena Gako can case any Kyoruksana itatoshka. Dona no. あれは何時何時は我何時ここに新たなる千切りを得たり千切りはすなわち囚われを破らんとする反逆の翼なり我は節制のペルソナの生誕に祝福の風を得たり自由へと至るさらなる力となら See? 
Number one, allows you to perform various activities in Kawakami's class. You're so sorry. definitely get her up. There's another one that is super important, but we haven't met her yet, so you can't. I won't talk about her yet. Hey, you didn't do anything for me. そりゃまあ、お互い秘密知ってるし、気が楽だし。それにそのこういう店では私と島田もなかなか知り合えないんだよね。一応お礼するしさ。もっとサボれるような工夫するとか。まあ、考えてみてよ。So bad. Oh god, you have no idea how exhausting this job is. Listen, promise me you won't tell the school about this, okay? For both our sakes. Absolutely no talking about maid stuff to anyone. It'll be our little secret. Just Becky and Master, okay? Can you keep a secret? Oh my gosh, Master. Thank you so much. I'll make sure to keep my promises too. Well, I'm gonna head home. Um, don't forget to study for your exams, okay? If you waste all your time playing around, your grades will suffer. Alright, see you later. Hold it, you'll have to make some excuse for me. Call me, so I'm surprised. I have some big news! That double cream from the famous crepe shop is half off right now! Mm. Oh, but I probably can't take crepe into a hospital, huh? I really want one, though. Do you think maybe Shiho would want one too? Right. It might be half off, but I should try to control myself. She might have rehab today too. They probably wouldn't even let her eat. Oh, I forgot to mention. Shiho started her physical rehab. She pushed it up ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I want to get stronger. She said she was going to start working hard, too. I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet, though. Oh, hold on. What? Now? Oh, that's not good. Sorry, something just came up with... That was from my agency. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap up soon, so I gotta head over to fill in now. It's pretty close though, wanna come? Actually, let's go, I'll race you there.
We arrived at the meeting spot. And Senpai, I'm so pumped to work to you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I just, oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Well, it wasn't really that big of a deal. The fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika, and please, not honorifics. I might be older, but you have loads more experience, and Senpai. All right, Mika. <laughs> Feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, and you don't need to use Senpai with me. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, Anchan. <laughs> You're so nice. Hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know your everyday routine, stretches. Yeah. Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, is that all you do? Then what kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over for a place to import some organic green almonds. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating quinoa. Do I, like, need to boil it in water or something? Mm -hmm. Um, almonds? I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. Ugh, must be nice. I'm actually with the girl here. And isn't it kind of tough to boil ice? I'm kind of with Mika here. Do you weigh yourself? Of course, once a year for the health examinations at school. Oh, I feel so bad. It's like getting slapped in your face when you're working so hard and this girl doesn't have to do anything and can eat, eat pancakes and not gain weight. I feel you, Mika. I get it. I guess it's hard testing someone you just met. Uh, yeah. That's not it. I, I just don't really think about that stuff. It's nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more that modeling is like a hobby for me. What? That's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that, Anne? Wait, I... I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika, just calm down. Don't worry, I'll know you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so much harder than me and I'm the one getting comforted. Hold on. And the truth is we both had, we had you and Nika come as substitutes. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're not really interested. Hey, I didn't. Don't worry, I can do it alone. I read the concept docs on the way here. You faker. You're so mean, Anne. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you good to go, Mika? Sorry about this, Anne, but we won't be needing you today. We'll reimburse your transportation expenses, though, and even throw a little extra in for your trouble. But... Uh, I really screwed that up. Yeah, but maybe it's because deep down I'm not actually that invested in modeling. She sees straight through that. Anyways, I totally ruined the shoot. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? Maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. Listen carefully. The key is, you don't actually cry. Yes. Either way, I think I'll be able to use that ability to our advantage in the metaverse. I'll turn my failure today into positive energy going forward. Hey. Crocodile tears. Yes. I love how they tie in like the ability with what actually happened in the scene. Speaking of the metaverse, I'm gonna try super hard in my work with the Phantom Thieves too. But for now, I should stop by and see Shiho at the hospital. Thank you. Oh, 
I am assuming you're all curious, so I'm sending you an update. Madurame is still bedridden, he hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Come on, not your fault, don't worry about it. It is June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madurame had a mental shutdown. But there's no point if you don't have a change of heart and call out that legal bullshit. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamoshida? Pretty much. Yeah, Kamoshida was out of school for a while. Either way, there's no been there's been no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether they're not, not their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We just gotta hear from Madarame what the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Let's just try waiting a little longer. No. Why would I know that? この話、興味なかったかしら。振りかかる日の子は払えたし、変わったきっかけなんて気にならない。まあいいわ。貴重な意見をありがとう。参考にさせてもらうわ。よ、わかんない。え、え。さてと。Probably sell that one. I like these, they're really helpful. So good. Mm. I don't think we quite need that yet. No, I did pick up a movie. We're working on kindness right now, so let's work on kindness. And so Butchiko kept waiting. Oh, I watched that movie. If you haven't watched that movie, it's really good. It's really good. It's based in America instead, but it's so cute. So no. good. We'll be reviewing last week's materials. But don't think you can slack off, okay? I absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. All that stuff about slacking off was a little odd too. Wait. A second, is that what she meant by ditch class? I would have thought she would le let you leave the room or something, but I guess you can't really complain. <clears throat> oh, it's Friday. Cal County's been kind enough to give us this free time, so we better put it to good use. So what's the plan? After his death, the statue of Buchi became a symbol of Shibuya. Buchiko, the story about this dog makes me cry every time. Dora. 
dog who kept waiting for his master in Shibuya, huh? A noble and loyal friend to the end. I have to admit that story moved me. Can't you feel it warm in your heart too? Hmm. That was great! We should thank Kama Kawakami for this later. We'll call her tonight if we can. It's Friday. <gasps> yes, I love you. Hi, how you been? your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on this table. Snacks? Snacks! I've been tough making you listen to all this tough stuff about trauma, pain, and grief lately, so... I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies, too. I thought I'd get surprised for you, since you've been so kind to indulge in me all this time. Go ahead and enjoy. Yay, cookies! Yay! Go on, don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds too. Yay, cookies! So that. Oh, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, this actually reminded me about this psychological experiment. The scientists prepare two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but the other was filled with cookies, tens of them. So then they had their subject try cookies from each container and asked how their taste compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? Probably the one cookie to container. Sick. Correct! Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the law of scarcity. It's about what you'd imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. I know, right? Don't you think it's really fascinating? In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our, con our cognition. This guy totally knows. Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Basically, your per perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? that your unconscious desires may have changed the taste of the cookie. Yeah, a lot of people would feel the same. After all, the taste didn't actually change objectively. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter or be unreliable sometimes. But, if this experiment proves anything, it's that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy. For example, take the story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie, and it had been the best cookie of your life? Say so I never revealed the trick behind it. That cookie would have remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. I'm glad to hear you say that. And basically, what I wanted to say was, if this idea of preconception could be studied further and actually applied to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people, maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Your reaction is proof enough. Plenty of people would probably see it as a lie or simply ignoring their problems. 
Still, even if it's true, I still believe that method could save a lot of people. Oh, I'm sorry, we wound up getting into academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. What am I talking to you? Somehow I always end up going back to my research. I'm truly grateful for everything you've done. Not just because I can get your opinion on these things either. It's more like it's as if I'm talking to an old friend. <laughs> Maybe that's too personal. After all, this is for the sake of our deal, right? So we say anyway. Now then, I'd better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you today is... More SP! Woo! Never a ta bad time for a snack, right? This is Maruki, sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion. You're always so kind. You might be a better counsellor than I am. I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Oh, there we go, rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, see you again soon. All right, let's see if we can call Kawakami. Oh, we can! What? Really? You'll request me? Okay, I'll be make sure that your room is absolutely spotless. Be there soon! I love cleaning shabby, I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? It does. <laughs> Aw, Master! Even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean! I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chic feel, you know? And now cleaning complete! <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes, homework assignments, and today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feed a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised you actually requested me. I didn't think you would. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try not to get too involved with my students, so... I need a nap. I'm sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up! Thank you very much! Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. Well, um, it's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I... No, yes, I understand. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, wrong number. 
sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but... Do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? Wait, n never mind. Owing one of my students money would be the worst. Hey, y you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, further things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. Yes. <sighs> Three more to go. Well, see you later, master. Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that okay, Master? What? No! I just wanted to hear your voice, Master. Okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm gonna chop the sales talk. Crap, my manager's coming. Uh, well, I hope you'll request me again. Bye! look that suspicious sorry oh but speaking of looks have you any of you seen someone you thought was cute and might immediately decided they might be nice too that that process is totally normal if not always accurate there's even a name for it any guesses uh Uroi kun what do you think the name for this phenomenon is Correct? I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities and your broader profession of someone get, can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make total objective judgments. Like that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. The halo effect isn't all bad, but I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. <laughs> 
All right, that's it for today. Oh, are you going home already? If you have time, why don't you stay and enjoy an apple? It's a gift from me from one of my elderly places. and she gave me a lot. Hello, Dr. Takami. Chief Oyamata. All right. There was a medical conference nearby, so I thought I'd check up on you. All the bad people are gangsters. Who's this? He doesn't look like a patient. Oh. He's a part-time staffer. I'm having hand on little miscellaneous tasks for me. So do you have some business? I he just stole one of my patients, a girl with bronchitis. She came here with her father. <sighs> bronchitis, you say? Well, I had no intention of taking her from you. I certainly didn't encourage her to visit my clinic. Now there's the t the care at there is talk that care at the university hospital is that je is inferior to that of a general practitioner. Original medicine, ha! What you're doing here is simply absurd. You're right. I would have turned a blind eye if you had just brought it away out here in this little town. But this is your final warning. Shut this place down and resign your medical license. What did you say? <laughs> Don't worry about, about it. Hm. You seem to be quite fond of her. Perhaps I should reveal this woman's true identity. She's a mantra who tortured a patient with her unregulated medicine. Terrible, isn't it? She was such a brave girl. Always smiling. Was? She passed away. What? Perhaps you'll suffer the same fate, hmm? Ha ha ha, she is the plague after all. <laughs> Don't lie to me. She should still have time. She was slowly recovering. Her condition couldn't have deteriorated that quickly. But it did. You must have misjudged. Now back to the reason why I'm here. Don't ever take another patient away from me again. You don't want to make me angry. Miwa's dead? No. But she's all I've been working towards all this time. Curing her was my only... There's no way. What have I been doing this whole time? What was even the point? I can't... No, I'll be fine. Gome. I feel better now. Thanks for my help, your help, my little guinea pig. I need to buy more. I wish I hadn't shown you that side of me. <laughs> You're right. I guess it's fine once in a while. Go on home for today. We'll continue this another time. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarame must have had a change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges till after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? 
Try asking Yusuke, he's still staying with Madarame, right? Oh, that's right, where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Sorry, I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. I believe he is preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Guess we gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. <laughs> Perfect. Um, wait. Oh, well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? Did she really just bring over ramen? The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? What? I can cast a magic spell that turns it extra delicious. Or would you prefer the homemade cooking next time? Although, that would be an additional very cost. I make the best egg so rice with soy sauce. Don't request me if you're gonna complain. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? You messaged me, to be fair. Are you sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. Uh. <sighs> I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked more about our bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teachers' salaries. I'm so sick of it. Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, Master. I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Hello? Huh? What? How much? I, I can't. Yes, but that, that's true. Sure. Yes, I understand. It's my responsibility after all. Oh, did you hear that? I'm behind on my medical sis my sister's medical bills. Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. What am I going to do? Anyways, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through ma maid service. I live close by so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. That's nice, thinking about it as a mom figure instead. Think about it that way. Oh, and if your friends simply come over, I can always leave a the back way. Now 
now we can have her do laundry. So I think I have to go to the laundry and then say, let's call her. So we'll try it next time we have a, the story's gonna come, so we might not get a lot of time to be, to do things, but oh, let's try it next time. Is this master? Thank you for using our service today. Wasn't my meal so delicious? Could you taste, ow, all the love. I, my cat just attacked my toe. All the love. But you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need balanced nutrition. Maybe next time you can try some of my homemade cooking instead. Seriously though, you're young. You really do need to eat properly. You can thank me once you make actual improvements. Um, I mean, you're so very welcome. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but you really do need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requesting me, you could probably afford some good food. Well, I hope you request me again. Bye! じじに優しくすることないのに。なんで自分からバラしたわけ？ありえなくね。また市の拠点に怪盗団を名乗る何者かが不審な生命群を張り出したとの情報があり、警察では容疑を特定しない形で関連を調べることにしています。怪盗？
この力マジで見返すどころか世の中大騒ぎになんじゃねガンガンやってやろうぜこの調子でどんどん広まってかねえかな二度目ってのもでかいぜこんな偶然普通ねえからな続けていけば絶対みんなに勇気与えられる気がする少し静かにした方が良さそうだ Yeah, no kidding Why do you talk so loud? バカほどいんだ君たちちょっといいかなはーい何かご用でしょうか何度見てもしびれる棒読み具合だぜ何してるのどういう友達んなんだちち違いますちょっと彼昨日寝てないし I mean seriously why are you asking when why don't you ask those guys back there? わからないうちに解散しなさいね変な事件も多いし例の画家のニュースで探しいしね気をつけまーす昼間っからよあいつら暇なんじゃねあんなアドリブやめてよ焦ったし今まで以上に警戒した方がいいぜ。Yeah, like not talking in the middle of Shibuya. Like what's up? 今回の被害者が会ってるわけだしな。まさか会話聞かれたりとか。平気だよ。この人混みだ。気にしてんのは俺たちだけ。それもそうか。ところでさ、ユウスケ、マダラメからなんか聞けた？怪しいやつがどうのとか言ってたじゃん。それが問い詰めては見たんだが、やつは自分に何が起きたかさえ理解していない。私らに欲望を取られたこと、実際に見たわけじゃないんだもんね。下手すれば刑務所行きって噂だ。やつから情報を得るのは難しいだろうな。スカお前、これからどうすんのあの家を出るよ。あんな場所ではもう絵は描けない。あてあるの学生寮がある美術家特待生の俺は無償でいいそうだ特待生えお前すごいな赤巻さんの家でもいいってはあいつでもモデル頼めるしバカまあユウスケも一人になっていつでも集まりやすくなったけどなひとまずは事件経過について様子見だそれにまだらめ級の大物ってなると時間も多少かかりそうだしよとにかくおとなしく学園生活しつつ次のターゲット見つけようリュウジまた頼むぜそれまでは準備だな北側ユウスケ鈴井志保に続いてまた面識の浅い他人のためにやったっていうの二度も追い返されて通報までされかけてそんな相手を上がり込んでまで助けたわけしかも城の次は美術館宝を盗めば心が入れ替わるなんてもんやまだいいと好きなのね
いいわそんな話出まかせなら仲間と口裏合わせなんてできないはず新しく加わった仲間のことを話しなさい意地なんて張るのは無意味よ自分の立場を悪くするだけまだらみのたった一人の文科生なんて調べればすぐに分かるかも仲間は占いって言いたいわけだなのみんなはいいわ聞きたいことがたくさんあるからこの頃からだね怪盗団人気に火がつき始めたのはネットに嘘が溢れて自分にも予告状が届いただの怪盗に助けられただの情報収集の手間が10倍になったわよ本当に勘弁してほしかったわ次の標的はこの男金城純也この男は今までの2人とは訳が違う警察も手を焼いてた本物よこんな悪党どうやって落としたの聞かせて His palace is a bank, if I remember correctly. Bank. Yogi Shawa, Obey the Nine Nado, Imi Fumer no Kyojis of Krikai Stiori, Kesa to Deva, Sesin Kante of Kunai, Hanko no Kei ya, Doki no Kaime of Susmir to no Kodas. Shoo Jinga, Kamoshida, Sos the Kokai of Madame, Kyo Tsuta, and I Kutska Mitska Timus. 突発的な心変わりの直前に予告状が送られていたりなるほどねだが一連の精神暴走事件と関連づけるのは役しすぎではないかねそもそも君が踏み込めば警察がいい顔しないだろう縄張りだのメンツだのにこだわってる場合じゃありがとうございます。不安が広がっているのは承知をしていますこれは大変憂慮すべき事態です国民の皆様が安心して暮らせるよう全力を挙げて取り組んでまいります怪盗団を名乗る連中といいあれが明るみになれば
you can actually throw something. I don't remember this either. Or maybe it's not. Oh no, making me find the lines. No! How could you? Women of all ages. Oh, I know this place. Yeah. No, my money. Those two. Stalker, stalker, stalker. Yay! So this is Kichiyoji, huh? You can't tell it's nothing like Shibuya, just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, looks like there's a lot of shops here you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Huh, it's got your attention now, huh? Anne's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the darts lounge is one block up from the main street. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. You're following us for playing darts. My, what a coincidence. <laughs> Take a look at that showcase, dude. A Kichiyoshi special, doyaki with chestnuts and red bean paste. It almost looks like a hamburger. Konnichiwa. Oi. Meh. Don't care. Hat store? Ooh. What the hell are mechanic senses? Well, let's take a look. Ah. Uh, wow. Alright, let's buy it all. For my ladies. <laughs> yep. They did. Cell phone shop? No. Finger Sudi clothing here. Sudi clothes. Mm. Oh. Interesting. Mm. But they can sometimes be better if they if you clean them. Mm. 
interesting. How much do they take them? Oh. Alright, well. Let's sell the cheap ones, I guess. And keep the more expensive ones. My gosh, I have a lot of those. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Trash into treasure. What does that do? I'll buy it. Sweet. That was kind of a weird story, but I guess it was pretty fun. Oh, no. Evasion goes down a lot. So let's put it on Ryuji since his own. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. What's this? Oh, this one. Oh, good, good. Oh, there's a line. Aww. Uh. Uh, what's over here? Oh, there's a shrine. Oh, this is a cool. I like the new area. Oh, this is a. Oh! Give me those. Yeah. What's over here? Looks like. Oh, hey, Sorry. Oh, that's cool. All right. Uh, I want to go to the shrine. Makoto, you are not. Oi. Hello. <laughs> you're not. You're not um very Heidi. What's this? Imported grocery. Oh. Popcorn bomb. Ooh. <laughs> Piano? Huh? Oh. A jazz club? Sweet! That's a little, uh, that starts, clearly. Oh. No. Penguin sniper. Okay. I must see what this is first. Stone on. No! Oh, here's the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Hmm. You're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would ya? You don't gotta tell me that. So what's plan? Why to head inside? Whoa. Almost. I wanna look at this place. 
They're still healing. Probably accessories, huh? Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. Let's go. ボール。まともまんなかのことをブルズアイって言うのよ。で、そこに当てるのがブル。ま、昨日ネットで覚えたばっかだけどな。で、今やってるルールは<笑> もちてんがあるんだよ。言ってんだとさ。ほら、もうちょっと腕をまっすぐだな。ところで、龍樹は何を見てんだ? わ、いきなりブルかよ。ジャケンショー上がるぜ。<笑> リュウジにしてはやるな。あと少しで<笑> もってるな。いや、これ面白いわ。すごい。Sweet。Sweet。How do you get their baton pass up? なんか掴んだみたいだな。お前らの顔を見れば分かるぜ。たとえ遊びでもやり方次第じゃ丹田になるってことか。わが輩はいつだって怪盗団のことを考えてるのさ。この場所使えるぜ。今度はみんなで集
これだったらまた遊びたいぜそんじゃ帰るとすっか今日は付き合ってくれてサンキューなおい That seems amazing being able to redo your up your health and oop Victims of influence of an old man who been causing problems if you make one who finds them to me if you don't. You know, I mean, that's how that works. Okay, so we have to go to. We still have to figure out the cat one. We never figured out the cat one. Hinto, but I'm probably not going to remember that. Um, all right. Yes, sir. That you possess free will does not mean that you can always do as you please. To make your decisions based simply on loss and gain is to act like a heartless machine. The reason so few people care about their fellow man is because so few have the energy to do so. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. We need to your support more than ever. That approach isn't gonna work. You have to get the voters more excited. You're gonna completely lose the hearts and minds of the people. Again, what I'd like to say is... No. Councilman Matsushita. It's been so long since we last spoke, I wanted to stop by to see how you were doing. Oh, you have a high school volunteering for you, huh? My times have changed. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed you're so interested in politics. I was a member of the Kuromoto children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. I made an amazing career change going from a pro wrestler to a diet member. I was elected easily, but I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit, but I failed to be re-elected for a second term. That was true for the both of us. Yeah. You made a great comeback, though. You're truly an inspiration. As are you, old friend. You're working harder than anyone on the campaign trail. How oh, there's no need for false praise to impress the boy here. Yoshida's well informed about the inner working of politics, so I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does if you want to become a diet member. Mm -hmm. 
And what might that mean? I'm guessing he doesn't know? You really think you can win the election by being completely honest and making good arguments? You've got to secure votes, or else you'll be forever known as no good Torah. Without honesty and good arguments, there can be no political justice. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard one of your grandiose speeches. Itoi, was it? Tell me, what about Yoshida here drew you in? You address matters quite directly for a young person. It seems you have been taught well. I intend to teach him everything I know. That's what we agreed on. Yes. By the way, how are things between you and old man Kuromoto? Oh. Eh, we're still not on speaking terms. There's something I'd like to get your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds. But I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's all I'm gonna say. Why did he have to mention that? Ah, my apologies. That's all for today. What a mess. Past mistakes can really come back to bite you. It's hard to feel like you've ever truly escaped them. Some people can fight their way back up, like Matsushita, but many end up suffering under the weight of labels. Even after 20 years, I'm still nothing more than no good Torah. But I won't give up! It's true that I lost a lot, but I did learn a great amount of things along the way. Somewhere in the middle of it all, my old stubbornness was tempered into conviction, my one redeeming quality. That is why I want you to use your own experiences to forge your own conviction. Don't worry. I can already see you're on the way. You just have to refine your experience into knowledge. I ended up taking a lot longer than expected. Well, until next time.